Hey guys, what's up? It's No Traction here. Uh, here's the Miata that I've owned for a year. Um, it sat for about eight months now. Finally got it back on the road. And I'll go ahead and uh, tell you what was wrong with it here, but we're pretty excited to have it going finally. Okay, so a little background. Here, uh, about eight months ago, I was driving, and it all of a sudden seemed to not have power from about 2,500 RPM to about 4,000, and then it started getting back in the or start having power again. Um, I wasn't really sure why at all. Um, I thought maybe there was moisture in the fuel because I let it sit for like a week and a half or so because I was driving my Neon and I went ahead and uh, put some stabilizer in it and it was a fluke but it ran fine for about two hours. Um, <clears throat> then I uh, started cutting out on power again. I uh, kind of looped around to come back here to my house and it started knocking extremely bad. So pulled over, uh, got towed home and then kind of went from there. Bear in mind, I am no ace mechanic by any means. So my first instinct was to check uh, to see if the battery was loose, if there's a ground or anything loose. Um, everything checked out fine. Um, it was getting spark, I checked that. Um, what was weird is when it was not running, um, it was getting way too much gas out of this cylinder right here. And you can see this was like wet so it was not burning the gas for some reason but it was weird because when i checked that spark plug it was getting spark so i'm not quite sure what with the problem uh, there was but <clears throat> i went ahead and replaced all the spark plugs about to use coil pack replace that replace the wires still had the same issue um let it sit for about a month because like i said it's this is my winter beater it was springtime um I didn't really care that much if it was running at the time or not. So let it sit uh, for about a month, went ahead, went back, went to start it. Wouldn't turn over or nothing. So I just assumed next thing I could think of is maybe fuel filter, fuel pump, tested those, they were fine. Injectors were fine, had a shop test them. They were fine, had no idea what was wrong with this. So this thing sat up until about a month and a half ago when I finally decided to take it to my friend who is much more mechanically inclined than I am and it actually turned out to be the uh, ECU was fried. I would never have gone that <coughs> out of the symptoms but ECU was fried. Um, this top is newer but I left the windows down actually so it probably wouldn't have helped but the drain holes were clogged here and I've cleaned them out but water was just accumulating here and sitting there and it looked like over time it finally eroded the ECU. And here I'll go ahead and I'll give you guys a cold start real quick. It has not ran in two days so it might not start the smoothest here. Well, it wasn't too bad for how cold it is. But you can see uh, she's getting up there in miles, almost 130,000 miles. Um, it always has kind of idled a little high since uh, we got the ECU replaced, which is kind of interesting, but something that doesn't really bother me a ton. Um, it's only like 1200-ish, whatever, yeah, 1200-ish, 1300-ish RPM is where it's like stuck idling at, which isn't atrocious, it's just not ideal, because when I drive around, it still idles at that, it's not doing it just because it's cold. But, yeah, here she is. Um, now that we finally got her up and running, I'm sure you'll probably see a couple more videos. If you like today's video, go ahead and hit the like button. Um, if you'd like to see future videos about the Miata, let me know in the comments. And uh, go ahead and uh, if you give me a subscription, it'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks, you guys.